Well, first of all, I mean, nice to have a, a catch up with you and see how you're progressing along with your with your career. I want you first of all, though, to just explain a little bit and tell our listeners and, uh, and viewers on, on the official website of how it all started for you. How, how did you arrive here? Um, I started football at around when I was four or five. Uh, I was coming here at a few other clubs like Liverpool, and um, and then I had to choose at nine to sign, so I ended up signing for Liverpool, carried on with them up until maybe under 11s, and then at the time, my uh, manager left the way I had, and uh, the manager who came in just didn't like me, uh, didn't think I'd get around the pitch, uh, just reasons, so just didn't enjoy like being there, and obviously with my uncle being here, and uh, Alex at the time, he, he said, um, always uh, welcome to come back here so ended up coming back here around under 11s under 12s good choice in the end yeah very good choice uh, to be fair when I left uh, Alex Morris told me from that day uh, the doors were always open for me to come back so I always felt welcomed here like it's a good place to be around like the staff the, the players just leading into that next question, there's a lot said in there from many, many players who've come through the door here and gone on to, to the bigger things of how good the coaching and, and the progress of the younger players is. You've had first-hand sort of knowledge and information. In that. Is it that good? Yeah, the, the staff are, are really good. Um, like the sessions they put on and the players, like how they help you develop and stuff here. Uh, it's like up there with one of the, like one of the best to be honest um you obviously seen it with the players who have came through like who they've developed got into the first team and sort of sold on it's like it's what you look forward to to be honest what's it like though for, for you know for a young lad like you say you're out early at liverpool then you've come here at crew as a very young age as well You've had to give up, I guess, a lot of things to, to get you to where you are, you know, putting a lot of hard work and a lot of a lot of hours out on the training ground. Um, yeah, I, uh, I look at me, go back and look at my dad, to be honest. Uh, I think he has to give up a lot to get me to places, um, if that's work or such. But, uh, no, it's like I say, I'm football mad, so... To be honest, I'm not really clever, but it's a good job of more out of football. <laughs> oh, well, a lot of footballers have said that, you know, so you're yeah. not on your own. But to, just to, just going into to the situation with, you, with with your uncle, everybody knows what a, what a player, what a man he was, and he's still here doing a fantastic job. How much influence has he had? Yeah, I, like he has a big impact, to be honest, uh, knowing that I've sort of got a nerve I need to go to about whatever it's, if it's on or off the pitch um, he's he's a big help I can ask him anything and he sort of after games and that he sort of reflects with me uh, what like he will tell me straight if what I need to do better like obviously at home like he is my uncle but at the training ground and stuff he, I do have to treat him as a coach and my manager it's, but he is a big help. No doubt about it. Everybody knew what what he did here. He was a terrific player, a terrific servant. Did that make you more determined? Were you aware of what, as you were growing up what what, what he'd done, can he? Um, to be fair, I uh, I haven't seen much of him when he played for sort of Crew or Sheffield. But like I've been to sort of when he was coming to have, to his end of when he was playing at Bala. And uh, even then, like, I just thought, like, wow, like, he, he still got a bit, like, coming to the end of his career. But even, I sometimes play five-a-side with him and that, uh, and even in five-a-side, it's like, he just, like, it's as if he doesn't miss. Like, he just finds the corners all the time. It's like, I hate being against him because... As much as I want to beat him, he, he seems to get the better of me a few times. Yeah, you've probably seen him in one or two of the charity matches out there at the uh, Moorflake Stadium. Yeah. He, he loves the goal, doesn't he? Yeah, it's the, some of the goals, like the thing is, he'll come home and uh, be sat there with me auntie and you will hear it for the whole weekend. Mm -hmm. Or, you, know, you see the goal, lob the keeper, whatever, but 
Yeah, he's he's just all fun. He is. Great. It's a great story. There's, there's no doubt about that. Long may continue in your in progress in your career as well. Let's bring you right up to date to where you are then now, because obviously. You know, going out at the end of last season, contract was expiring. You earned yourself a, a new contract. A, a good feeling for you that. Um, yeah. Um, obviously, I'm proud to get a contract, and obviously, I have to keep kicking on to try and get a new one. I know it's up at the end of the season. Um, I've got to keep developing, looking at areas where I can improve on, and hopefully, make the gaffer. Um, give me a new one. You must be pleased though that uh, how you're progressing because you're getting quite a lot of minutes out of the first team setup, aren't you? You know, you've you've started, you're coming on quite regular. Yeah, um, I'm proud to be honest of sort of being around like the first team, uh, like you say, coming on a few times and being on the bench. Like it's good to be around the lads and learn from more of the senior pros. Uh, I've got a just keep on trying to improve and try and hopefully like next season try and kick on to get maybe starting into the team but obviously it's down to me. What's been that biggest difference for you as you've progressed you know out of the 18s to the 21s, 23s that they were now to, now to regular first team football? Um, yeah I think you have to sort of obviously from 18s to 23s is a jump. Uh, it, it is you can feel the difference in it, like tempo wise and stuff. Uh, but then to sort of prepare myself from 23s to first team and coming on, it, like coming on against Sunderland, the tempo wise and everything just happening so much like quicker. Um, so it is a uh, it, it does like. Sorry, I'm trying to... You have to... Adjust? Yeah, adjust, yeah. Um, sort of, you got to be quicker up in the head, um, thinking better. Uh, so, we're, with coming on in that game, it's, we're winning 1-0, we're sort of sitting back a bit more and they're more on top of you. You, you can't switch off where in 18s, 23s you might get away with it but games like that it, it can cost you. Well just rounding it all up of course the team started well you know the manager will want more he won't let you rest on your laurels and he said he's taking it one game at a time but you know you're assessing the squad you're a part of the squad how good could this group be? Yeah I think this this year obviously like I was around it last year, um, but this year I think we really do have a, a good squad, like the characters in the change room and stuff. Uh, and I think we're all looking to get back up to League One. I think that's where we should be. Uh, and I think we have a really good chance this season.